I know the truth. And that truth, it knows you. Hey guys, this is not an official part of the Let's Build the RPG video series, but since we've been doing so much with MetaHuman recently, I felt like this was a good time to show you a quick tutorial on how to integrate the Live Link Face app with Unreal Engine. And I want to give a special thanks to my friend Ricardo Chavez, who is the artist who created the character that we're using for this demonstration. And he's actually available for hire if you need someone who's got a ton of experience with ZBrush and Maya. And you can find his art station and YouTube channel linked in the description below. So the first step, let's get the LiveLink Face app up and running on your iOS device. It's only available on iOS devices, at least for now. But before we do the setup on the app, there's a setting you need to make sure to set on your network connection, and also you're going to need your IPv4 address. So I'll show you how to get that. So we gotta come into the bottom right-hand corner and right-click and open your network and internet settings here. And then either click Ethernet or Wi-Fi, whatever your connection is here. And once you do that, click whatever network you're connected to. And the first thing is you need to make sure that this is set to private. And then if you scroll down, make sure to write down this IPv4 address here. And this is your internal network address that we're going to use for the app. So now if you go into the app and go into settings in the top left corner, there's a few different settings that we need to set here. And the first is live link at the top. We have to give our live link a subject name. And this is what we're going to select within Unreal Engine. And then for that IPv4 address that we just jotted down, that's where we put in a target. So you would just do add target and put in that IP address there. And I didn't need to add a port here. The last thing you might need to set here is the stream head rotation setting if you want your head rotation to actually be factored in when you're recording facial animations. So then you're ready to go into Unreal Engine and download your MetaHuman. And if you're not familiar with MetaHuman Creator or how to download MetaHumans into Unreal Engine, you could just check out the first part of episode 45. And before you pull your MetaHuman into the world, just make sure you have the two plugins that are required to get the LiveLink Face app up and running and integrated with Unreal Engine. So if we go under Settings and Plugins, and if you search for Apple AR Kit, so this Apple Apple AR kit is required and then the Apple AR kit face support. So if both of those are checked, you're all set. If not, check them and then restart Unreal Engine. So now we're ready to pull in our MetaHuman. So mine's located under the content drawer. It's probably just under MetaHumans for you and then whatever you name that MetaHuman, you should have a BP MetaHuman right there once you download that MetaHuman. Just drag it right into your world. And I'm just going to alter the rotation to face the camera. So it's 70 degrees. Perfect. Getting nice and close. All right, so at this point, I pulled up my LiveLink face app, and all we're going to do is select our MetaHuman in the world, and under AR Kit Face Subject here, we're going to select what we set under Settings for our subject. So if I go to the drop down here, I've got Daedalus, and it's still not doing anything because the last thing I need to do is select the Use AR Kit Face. And once you do that, Viola. Actually, it's Voila, right? All right, so now the question becomes, how do we actually record an animation for this? So for that, I'm going to create what's called a level sequence. And we haven't yet done that in our series, but it's very easy to do. So I'm going to navigate to content, and then I've got a level sequences folder. We're going to right click. We're going to create under cinematics a new level sequence. And I'm going to call this facial animation demo one. And we'll go into that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our MetaHuman Blueprint, drag that right into the level sequence. And when you do that, it's actually going to break the live link face because it's now working off a control rig here. So only my neck is working. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete out the control rig, select that, hit delete, and delete out this one. And then my live link face is up and running again. So depending on the length of the facial animation that you want, you might need to zoom out here and adjust this red bar because this is going to determine the length of the animation. So I can just hold control and zoom out. I can make this quite a bit longer if I want. So I'll zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. And then once you're ready to record, just hit your blueprint up here and hit the record button. When you do that, it's going to do a really quick countdown. So get ready and then record your animation. So let's do one. Yep, ready to start recording. All right, so this is a random facial animation and I'm moving to the right and I'm moving to the left and moving up and down. And yeah, so you see it will go as long as you set that red bar a little bit further there. And it also follows your eyes, generally speaking. So then if you want to change the start time and the stop time at all, so you can drag these green bars over and you can right click and say set the start time. And then over here, same kind of thing. You can drag over the bar and right click and set end time. And then if you're ready to use this as an animation sequence, you just come down on the left hand side, find your face. So I select my face here and with the face selected, I can just right click and I can bake an animation sequence and you could save it under whatever folder you like. I'm just going to save it under this MetaHuman folder here and we're going to rename it our random facial animation one. And I kept all these settings exactly the same, but I unselected evaluate all skeletal mesh components because you probably don't need that, for example, to get physics baked. Export. 
So then we can open up that animation sequence here and it should be up and running. There we go. We got it with all of our curves. And at that point, we are ready to use this in any animation graph. We can create a montage for it. And that's exactly what I did to create the intro. So all I did was with that animation baked out, I just right clicked, create, create anim montage. And we've already done a ton of stuff in this series for integrating animations and anim montages in with your general workflow. So I'm not going to cover that here. But all I did to get the intro up and running is I went into our third person character. And when I press T on my keyboard, I get actor of class and I get our anim instance and I activate our metahuman. And this actually triggers the body animations that I used on the intro, like the pointing. But then simultaneously, all it's doing is it's saying play the montage and it's playing that montage off of our face. And this face right here is coming off of our metahuman character. I actually ended up creating a new metahuman character so that it could use our existing animation blueprint. So I hope you found this useful. And if you want to learn more about the rest of the stuff we're doing in this series, feel free to check out the channel.